Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the best budget drone. Now, this is the Sima X5C-1 or Sima X5C. They're the same exact model. Just a few different specifications, but they're basically the same. So I'll leave links for this drone and all the accessories I show in the video down below. Now, to get into this drone, I'm going to show you, obviously, some shots of the drone here. Um, just mo moving and working and all that type of stuff Now as you can see right here These are the accessories that you can buy yourself for the drone that I highly recommend the links will be down below But we have a battery pack um, that you can charge four batteries at once which each lasts about 10 minutes on this drone And we got replacement part pack that uh, came for six dollars comes with all the motors for fixing In addition to the motors, it comes with some guards for your propellers. Now, it also comes with some other accessories for your thing, such as new assemblies for the motor motors, and it comes with some landing gear. Um, that's basically all that kit comes with. Now, here I'm going to show you basically the drone, the layout of the drone, and how to replace the battery. Right now, I'm just showing you the camera on the drone. This is a 0.9 megapixel camera on the drone. Now, this isn't very high quality, but it does the job. It comes with a 4 gigabyte SD card. Now, aside from that, I'm going to quick show you how to place the battery into your drone. Now, these come with, with small 600 some milliamp hour batteries. Buy the accessory I showed you before, and you can get 4 batteries plus you get a 4 battery charger. Now you basically just slide the battery in and plug the connector into the drone and that's basically it for the install process of a battery. And with practice it's pretty easy but it can be a little difficult at times. Now next off we got the controls. And this is a basic 2.4 GHz controller where you press throttle up and down and up and down again to connect to the drone. Now as you can see below there's a nice little display showing you how much throttle you have and which direction you're turning. The top two buttons are for doing flips, and the middle button is for power, and the buttons next to it is for picture and video. Now here's some video from my camera showing the outside for the drone. Now basically, I have video of coming from the drone's 0.9 megapixel camera, which it isn't the best, but for just having fun, you can't beat the video. It's a basically a $50 drone with all the accessories ending up to be about $60 in the long run. So it is definitely worth it to buy. It's one of the most stable things to fly. It's really easy to fly. I had concerns about it and to see how hard it was to fly, but it was very easy. It, uh, you learned it in very little time and you could be fluent at flying it. Now I just basically did a few clips with this drone. Uh, in this clip I flew it up pretty high. Um, not too high, I couldn't fly it up any higher because we were almost going to go over our neighbor's house and uh, we can't do that. But in the summer when we get out to the park, I'll show you some more video from this thing from way, way, way higher. About 400 feet I think I'll go with it. But this video was only from 100, 150 feet up. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate, comment, like, subscribe. I know this, I usually am a gaming channel, but I decided to do this video on this cool drone for you guys. So please rate, comment, like, subscribe, like I said, as usual, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Peace out.